Hey, what's up guys? This is the Akai MPK Mini uh, laptop production keyboard. Uh, I got it. It was about $70, so not a bad price. The first thing I noticed when I pull it out of the box, got the box right here that it came in, is that uh, it also comes with a CD. I don't even know what the CD is for. I haven't used it. It's pretty much plug and play. But uh, the first thing I noticed is that it's, it's, it's very light. It feels it feels kind of cheap. I was kind of like, when I picked it up, I was like, oh, no, this doesn't even feel right. The pads, I don't know. We'll have to see, you know, once we plug it in, how they worked. But overall, I could just see that the keys were small. And I was like, eh. But I figured we'd uh, plug it in and see how it worked. And it, and it didn't turn out to be that bad. Uh, another reason I liked it is because it's just ran off this, um, USB cord. Here's the cord right here. The other side. The other side's right here. And that's all you need. You don't need another uh, power supply to plug into there. And that'd just be that just be more cords and whatever. But uh, so I'll just plug it in here to the side. Um and reach around, plug it in the back of the computer. And I am using this with Mac, it also works with Windows just fine. Um, as you can see, when I uh, plugged it in, it lit up real quick. You can see that uh, the backlights of the keys and uh, you can see the, and I'm just showing you kind of what it sounds like too. This is about how you want to hit it because the sensitivity level It'll be like do 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 do. So you're gonna be. That's about how it's gonna sound. Now for the keys, there's 25 keys here. Uh, you can go up, down on the uh, octaves, but uh, I have pretty big fingers, so it's just they're smaller. They feel they definitely feel cheap, but I'm sure I can get used to that. I've gotten used to other things before, uh, but. It's just all about the performance, right? Uh, over here we have some knobs. Uh, this will mess with the volume, the uh, whatever. You can assign them within the program that you're in. I basically bought this because I'm gonna be using Fruity Loops. Um, but overall, that's that's what the keyboard looks like and feels like. It's uh, here's a, a size comparison to my Mac keyboard. So it's nice and small, actually fits under my shelf. So it gets tucked away pretty easily. So I'll go ahead and I'll open up Fruity Loops. There we go. All right, there we go. And I can assign all of the pads right here. See, they're kind of scattered right now. You can assign them pretty easily. You just... Uh, map notes. There's two banks here. I can go to bank two. And then now they'll all be assigned. And that's like I said, now this is what I was talking about with the pads. See if I tap them like that. So that's, you're gonna have to push them, you know, they don't have that, uh, the, uh, it's not just one solid sound every time. And the keyboard, we'll go ahead and pull up a piano here, you can see how that sounds like. Yeah, 
let's do that. And you can also do like a tap tempo here if you want to turn that on. That's that. The keys, like I said, they feel. This is. Uh, let me see if uh, you can hear the difference here. Let me turn this up just a hair. So not quite as sensitive. As I want them to be but I'll tell you what I'll get by with it and it's only 70 bucks and it's super portable so uh, that's the Aki MPK mini thanks for watching